Diabetes has become um, a major problem worldwide. It's, it used to be something that we saw only in um, older people. In fact, it used to be called adult onset diabetes. Uh, and that's what we now call, and what was also called type 2 diabetes, but it is now pandemic. We're seeing uh, almost every country um, in the civilized Western world um, having a, a epidemics, countrywide epidemics of diabetes type 2. I want to distinguish real quickly between type 1 and type 2, but also let you know that here at LifeCo, we have two programs essentially, one to help prevent um, diabetes for those who feel like they might be on the track to it or they've heard that it's genetic and their mother and father have it or whatever. Number two, uh, for, um, for those who have early diabetes, they, they've just recently been diagnosed. So that's a shorter program, uh, it's a one week program and then we have a two to three week program for those with advanced diabetes um, and we work with both one and two types. The distinction between type 1 and type 2 is that in type 1, um, it usually occurs early in lifestyle, in life, in, in lifetime, um, and it's uh, because the pancreas has been damaged and no longer produces insulin. And it is believed that that's due to an autoimmune phenomenon where the body makes uh, antibodies that attack those cells. But there's some recent work that shows that it's probably and very likely related to the consumption of uh, dairy products from cows, etc. Regardless of that, something causes damage to the pancreas and it can't produce insulin. That's a completely different picture than type 2 diabetes, which is the one when, it, when people say, oh, I just, my son has diagnosed with diabetes, um, he's only 15, uh, or, or my father just got it, or I just found out. I mean, that's type 2 adult onset. Basically, what that is, <clears throat> and it <clears throat> needs to be understood, is really an eating disorder, simply put, it's an eating disorder. Remember, the body is always adapting to whatever we do to it. Um, it develops ways to adapt. Um, for example, you injure your leg, you, your body limp, you learn to limp so that you can continue walking. If you didn't limp, you wouldn't be able to walk. So that's an adaptation on a physiological level, biomechanical level. But what by diabetes is, is an adaptation on a, on a cellular level, biochemical level. And what happens is basically the, 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 the cells of the body are surrounded by too much glucose, whether that glucose, which is sugar, comes from pasta, bread, potatoes, um, cakes, uh, rice, it doesn't matter. Whatever form, it, or candy or anything, whatever form it comes, uh, sugar comes in, there's too much of it in the environment. The cell knows, it has wisdom that that sugar is going to kill it. So the cell then responds by not by changing its insulin receptor status so it doesn't, can't accept too much glucose anymore. We call that insulin resistance, which is usually what we call the early part or pre-diabetic, you know, condition. Um, and we're always referring, remember, to type 2 diabetes in this regard. Anyway, the cells become insulin resistant. So the standard way of treating this is to, uh, uh, is to give more insulin or just, or just take a pill that stimulates the pancreas to make more insulin. One way or another, it's like that. And then there's just lip service paid to diabetic diets. The, the kind of dietetic advice you get in hospitals and from uh, standard dietitians. Um, so, what, uh, there's a there was a very good film put out um, by Dr. Gabriel Cousins uh, where he took diabetics for a month down at his, uh, his uh, uh, center down in Patagonia, Arizona. Uh, with people from very, various stages of length of time of diabetes and reverse them all with diet and lifestyle changes. Um, those are exactly or very close to what we do. Um, it can be totally reversed. It can be totally, um, um, you can now no longer have that diagnosis. You go back to your doctor, your hemoglobin A1C is normal, your fasting blood sugars are normal, and you're feeling great and all that sort of thing. And all the complications that come from diabetes, which are quite severe. You lose your eyesight, you lose your kidney function, you go on dialysis, you lose, you start getting ulcers and you lose your foot and then you lose your leg. I mean, it's, it's a very devastating, not only that, um, uh, it can damage the heart. The uh, Diabetics are known to get what they call silent heart attacks. And that is, there are small parts in the, in the, uh, in the, in the heart where the, where the small blood vessels are not feeding the heart. And so little parts 
little pieces of the heart actually lose, die, and they lose their function. So there's, it's a really a, a very devastating condition. And anyone who's had it for a while or knows someone who's had it for a while understands that. So what we do is we, uh, we invite you here and we educate you. We teach you how, how your body works, what it is, what it needs, etc. And then we teach you how to eat and we provide food. So we use raw food, uh, a raw, uncooked, um, uh, vegan diet. And that alone takes care of it. If you stay on that, that, that's what Dr. Gabriel Cousins did, that alone. But in addition to that, what we find is that's very, very important is uh, exercise. Uh, exercise is critical. You don't like to exercise? Okay, so we're not gonna, you're not going to be pumping iron and turning into the Hulk. That's not the goal. The goal is just to increase your cardiovascular, your cardiopulmonary fitness. And that can be as simple as walking and uh, extra walking or running a little bit or biking or some sort of thing like that. So we, uh, we, we have you see a personal trainer and they work with your abilities and your desires and all that. But we develop into your lifestyle what you need is, is exercise because if you don't have it then your muscles aren't moving and if your muscles aren't moving you're not cleaning out the, uh, the, the, the waste that accumulates around your cells. So that's very, very absolutely necessary. So we help you with your, with your whole lifestyle. We, it, in, it includes, you can read in the brochure, but it includes uh, massage, it includes lymphatic work, it includes colon hydrotherapy, etc. Those things are meant to clean out the garbage, to clean out the stuff that's accumulated over the years. And you clean that out and then you put in nothing but healthy nutrients that do not have a lot of glucose and do not stimulate the body, the cells, to change their insulin receptor status. So basically what happens is diabetes no longer exists because diabetes is simply a term for the fact that you become insulin resistant and all the consequences that are the result of that. So this is 100% uh, reversible. Depends on you, depends on how much you've suffered. People that don't suffer a lot are less inclined to be willing to make some significant changes. Those that have suffered will say, I'll do anything. Okay, so hopefully uh, we can uh, reach out to those people, those of you who, where it's an early condition or you know that you might get it because of your lifestyle and are willing to actually make these changes. The, the benefits, forget the diabetes, the benefits are that you'll have more energy, you'll be more clear, you'll, um, uh, you'll, your endurance will be better, you'll be able to stay all day uh, doing your thing, you'll be more productive, your relationships will improve, you'll sleep better. I mean, every aspect, your sexual life will improve. Every aspect of your life will improve. These are the side benefits, okay? So if our target is eliminating diabetes, that's easy. How about some side benefits instead of side effects? So anyway, uh, we invite you to give us a call, talk to our consultants to find out, you know, which, which kind of program would be best for you. And let's get rid of this. Let's change it. Let's change your life. Thank you.